Father, we thank you. We open our hearts and our minds to you.
satisfied with Jesus. I said, I'm satisfied with Jesus. Amen. I'm satisfied. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Bless the Lord, all oh my soul, yes. and all that is in me. Bless his holy name. I thank God for letting me see another day. I thank God for saving, sanctifying me and filling me with precious blood. I give God all the glory and praises. I thank him for keeping me because I know I couldn't keep myself. And all the honor and all the praises go to him in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I just want to thank the Lord for saving me, yes. sanctifying me, and fill me with his precious Holy Spirit. Yes. And I thank God for all his promises he has given me. God has blessed me. Praise God. He blessed me, and I didn't even look for the blessing, but it came upon me. I thank God. God is so good to me. Praise God. I thank God for the man of God, Pastor Spellman. Encouragement and speaking the truth in this house. Praise God. He took me somewhere just shopping about, and I thank God for the shopping, and we came out with favor, and I give him all the glory, and I truly give him all the praise. And Lord, I thank you. I thank you. Hallelujah. I thank you, Lord. You are blessing me, and I know your blessings is no sorrows, and I give you all the praise. I'm going to give you all the glory in the mighty name of Jesus. Y'all pray for me as I pray for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, my girlfriend, he's always asking me, Jay, come on over here and get in the service with us. 
but I don't want to live in North Carolina. And I kept telling her, no, no, I'm not coming over there. I have to just wait on the Lord and see what he says. I have to wait upon the Lord and see what he says. I give God praise. I give God thanks right now, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you for what he's doing. Hallelujah, I know he's going to show great and mighty things in my life, oh, Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you. Oh, glory, hallelujah. I'll praise you right now, Father God. And I give you praise. I give you thanks. Oh, the seed that I planted in church. The seed that I planted is growing. It's growing. Oh, hallelujah. Tell the to plant the seed and watch it grow. It's growing. It's growing in my daughter's life. Hallelujah, man. Hallelujah. One day I'm going to give you all a testimony, but not today. Oh, God, it has really, that seed has really been growing. Oh, God, continue to bless you. God has told me to plant a seed for this church. I'm going to plant a seed for Ferreira Rock. God said, put the seed in the ground and watch it grow. Yes. Oh, God, I thank you and I praise you, Satan. Thank in the you, Lord. Jesus. Amen. Amen. Woo! Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Woo! Lord, This morning, um, I was waking up, and the Lord has given me three scriptures, but I realized, so when you, like Pastor said this morning, he kind of hit on the, uh, the nail on the head, is that sometimes, or no, not all the time, God gives you a scripture, and you read it, and you read it, and it means something different. So I read the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And I was thinking upon it, meditating on it, and just like he just sang that song, which was perfect because God created everything before I was even born, before I was even in my mother's womb. He decided that this is what I was gonna give my daughter. I was gonna choose her. I was gonna choose up her brothers and sisters. I was, he was gonna choose me from my family. And that everything that he created was for me. And by him, he said in the very beginning, when he created everything, he said it was good. So I just wanted to say, thank God for the word of God and this man of this household. In Jesus' name, they pray for me as I pray for you.
from bringing back from stuff. Amen. I thank God for the faithful few that are here. God's about, God ain't about to do something. He's doing something. Yes, he is. I said, he's doing something. Amen. I want to make an announcement. Praise be to God. Amen. The last shall be first. And the first shall be And the first shall be last. That's right. There's a transfer taking place. I receive it. Thank you, Jesus. I was on my way. As I was coming up, sake, I looked over into the lots. And I said, ain't going to be long. <laughs> They're going to be jammed with cars. Yes. Huh? Praise God. Praise God. We were down in Carolina, amen, the day we went down to Christmas Hill. And I had opportunity to show Sister Skinner Thank you, all that property that was part was woods and farmland. Yeah. And I showed a little place where we'd always have service. Along by my niece's house where she lived, both community now. Mm -hmm. And I would rent the community hall. And I said, this is where we had our service. And I pointed everything out to her. I said, you see all these buildings here now? All these places of business is built up. I said, back in the anyway, 60s, and excuse me, the 70s, and I was coming. It was nothing there. But God said, he's going to build it up. Yeah. It's going to be built up. I said, look at the buildings now. Going that way, this way, it's all built up. God showed them to me. He allowed me to see them. You see out there, those of you that may be viewing, because God show it to you, it doesn't mean that it's going to happen for you. Yes. He's showing you it's already. his plan mm -hmm. and his desire mm -hmm. for you. But your life or your behavior can alter that, that it doesn't happen. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. But this is what he's saying Thank you, Father. Uh, to his people. Mm. It's your time now. Yes. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Israel had been in captivity all that time. And he said, I heard you moaning and you cry. Yes. He said, now I'm sending a deliverer. Yes. Yes, he did. He's going to bring you out of the hands of the enemy. Yes. I want you to know we've been brought out. Yes. I said, Thank we are not Jesus. in Israel, amen, excuse me, we're not, amen, down in Egypt no more. No. He brought us out. Yes. Praise be to God of the house of bondage. Yeah. And he set us free. Glory be to Thank God. Thank you, Jesus. And we owe no man anything. Yes. But to love on. Yes. I said, but to love on. Yes. Praise be to the Thank true and living God. I think the Lord that I'm here today is the first Sunday in February. You know, it seems like just a few weeks ago, it was the first Sunday in January. Yes, it was. You need to wake up and see what time it is. Yes. Good God Almighty. Amen. Because time is moving. Yes, it is. So swiftly. Praise be to God. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, 24 going to be finished. It's going to be 25. Mm. Glory be to God. Thank you, Jesus. What has he assigned to your hands mm. for you to do? Thank you, Lord. Praise be to God. I praise the Lord today. I thank him for amen. For those of you who have been praying for us, as you foreknow, praise be to God. Amen. Sister Spellman is doing great. Praise be to God. Amen. 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 A lot of you, amen. Thank you, they Jesus. Have been wondering and listening. And a lot of you have been praying. And a lot of you haven't, but that's still all right. I thank God for those who have. Praise be to God. Thank you, 
Amen. Amen. Because God is a good God. Yes, He is. And the prayers of the righteous avail it much. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes, yes. And I, aren't you glad you know the Lord? Yes. How do you know Him? In pardon of my many sins. The Messiah. I am the righteousness of God. So we bless the Lord. Amen. We're not going to prolong the time. We're going to go quickly to the Word of God. Amen. This first Sunday. Amen. We thank God again for all of you that are online with us. And I want to say this to you now. I am not trying to get you to come over to prevail in Lord. You uh -huh. can go wherever the Lord leads you to go. Yes. But those of you who say you are saved, mm. and sanctified, and you feel with heaven's best. Yes. That's what my pastor used to always say. He said, I'm sanctified. He's sanctified. And feel with heaven's best. Yes. On okay. this side. On this side. <laughs> I just, just, yeah, I feel with heaven's best on this side. The precious gift of the Holy Ghost. That's heaven's best. Because yeah. it came from heaven. You tell me what else you got that came from heaven. The Holy Ghost in you came from heaven. It, 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 it didn't come from no shopping stores or no local place. It came from heaven. That's where it came from. Well, let me speak for myself. I don't know about where your Holy Ghost came from, mm. but mine came from heaven. I know that's right. Huh? Amen. Because he told me the word. He said, it's expediently that I go by. Yes. He said, because if I don't go, the comfort won't come. That's right. He said, but if I go back, I must. Mm -hmm. It's not. Just a thing, it's a he. Yes, it is. He said, I'm going to send him. And he said, he's going to abide with you forever. Yes. And he's going to bring all things back to your remembrance. Yes. What's never you've learned of me. And it's going to show you things to come. Yes, it is. Now, wait a minute. Things to come sound like they hadn't got here yet. Yes. Come down here. I feel something trying to happen. He said the Holy Ghost yeah. is going to bring all things back to your remembrance. Yes. He said it's going to lead you and, guide you and it's going to guide you yes, right. into all the truth. That's right. Because it's true. That's right. It don't know nothing. It don't know no other direction but truth. Because it's true. That's right. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And after bringing you in, into all truth, it's going to show you Things that's gonna come. Uh, yeah. Uh, this sound like things that woo. I have not experienced or seen yet. Yeah. But before they get here, he gonna show them to me. He gonna let me see them. Huh? And the word of God say, eyes have not seen and yeah. ears have not heard and yeah. neither have hit my heart those things that God has laid up for them yes. who love him. Amen. Now he said, and if you love me, you do what? You keep my, my, my commandments. commandments. Huh? Yes. He said, they're laid up for them. Yes. And in this end time, in this day and time, I have revealed them yes. through the Spirit. Yes. To my people. Yes. See, you can't see them if you're not in the family. Yes. This is a family affair. <laughs> <laughs> All Good right. God Almighty. You got to be in the family. Yes. To see the things that, amen, been revealed to the family. Praise be to God. I think about, amen, uh, my daughter, she was very young. She said to one of my wife's sisters, amen, she was asking her some questions. And she said, uh, Aunt so and so, I ain't calling the aunt's name. You're just trying to get in our business. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> so, so she was letting her know this is family. This is family, huh? Good God Almighty. This is the household of faith. We are family. We are members of one family. Yeah. Praise be to God. He said, can the, so can the foot tell the anchor? I don't need you. That's right. No, you're a part. Can the arm tell the shoulder? No, you're a part. Yes. Oh, you're a family. Yes. Praise be to God. We are blood washed family. Yes. Holy oh, be to God. Yes. Been washed in the blood yes. of the Lamb. Good God Almighty. 
Ah, the crucified one. All right, so now let me go over here, amen, to blind valuables. I want to talk a little bit about, amen, blind. Mm. And the word talks about blind. Yes, it does. And one thing the word says about blind daughters, it said, the blind lead the blind. That's right. And they all fall in the ditch. Yeah, yeah. Praise be to God. Yes. Amen. Can't nobody take you no place they ain't been themselves. Because they don't know the way. That's right. But Jesus said, I am the, the way, way and the truth, the truth and, and the, the light. light. Yes. My God. He said, any man that cometh in to here any other way, he's a liar, a thief, and a robber. That's right. He said, I'm the way. He's the way. Yes. Praise be to God. I thank God for my pastor out there. Because he said, what you really want to get is a Bible salvation. Yes. Not what he said and she said. Amen. And they said, but you want a Bible. What did the word say? The word said, let every man's word be a lie, lie. but the word of God be true. true. I don't care if you're looking at it or you're listening to it. He said, that's a lie. Because that's not lining up with the word of God. It's got to line up with the word of God. So those that said they're saved and sanctified, I got a question for you. Why are you not fulfilling what the word of God said? If you're saved, sanctified, and on your way to heaven in a hell. That I, I find I find out that ain't in a hell. It, it says you gotta lay aside every weight and every sin. That's right. That's what he's you. Yes. Stop you from running the race. Hello in here. Amen. Amen. There is a way. Yes. Uh, that seemeth right to a man. But, but the other is death. And he said plainly in the word, don't forget, I'm paraphrasing this, to come together. That ye may be strength for one another. One for another. How are you going to stay home? That's right. I want you to email me, uh, email us, and, and tell, give me scripture how you're going to forsake and to assemble yourselves with the people of God. You tell me. When he said, forsake and not to do that. It's just like first Sunday. We're about to have communion. Huh? Yeah. He said, do this, and as often as you do it, you do it in remembrance of me. Huh? Mm -hmm. so, but you do show folk the Lord's suffering, death, and death, till he come. Huh? Mm -hmm. that, that's what it says. Yeah. So how can you, he said, he, he, here's what he said. He said, now, if you do it, and you're not worthy, you're eating and drinking damnation to your soul. That's right. Now, all y'all staying home, or whoever you're staying, somebody else is home, or whoever, praise God, got to sit just like it is, mm -hmm. and you're not having the Lord's Supper. Yep. I didn't say it. He said it. Yes. He said you have no part of him. Yes. You see, one thing about Spellman, he can tell you the truth. That, that, that's, and, and the reason, I mean, he can tell you the truth because, first of all, he's in truth. Huh? Praise be to God. So he speaks truth. He, and what is true? He said, My word, word is true. Is true. Mm -hmm. His word is true. Yes. So sometimes people have a problem because you speak the truth. But that's all I know to speak is true because there is no lie in me. Yes. Hello in here, praise be to God. The liar got cast out. Yes. Hello in here, praise be to God. Now he may try to make me say something, amen, and try to put some words in my mouth, praise be to God. But I don't speak out of my mouth no more. I speak out of my heart. Mm. All right. God Almighty. <laughs> yes. I said I speak out of my heart. Yes. And and I'm 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 one. I'm not Jesus. He said. We are one. The Father and I and the Holy Ghost. He said, we are one. Yes. We are one. And he is one. He is one. So now let's go over to, amen. I believe it's Matthews. Let me get it real quickly. Grab your Bibles real quick now. Amen. I'm going to be finished in a little bit. I want to, I want to go over to blind Bible. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. Because I was reading something there, and I said, you know, I just want to say this to the glory of God, amen, and to the people of God. Praise be to God. Amen. Amen. We, we need to know, as we said earlier, to all of you, every every gift from God is a free gift, huh? Yes, it is. Huh? It, it don't cost you nothing but just work in your mouth. 
confession. Amen. You confess. Praise be to God. Amen. You're going to be okay. Praise be to the true and living God. And we bless the Lord. We praise him. We honor him. And we give him the glory and the honor. I'm going to get there. Give me a minute. Uh-huh. All right. Uh-huh. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. All right. Now, I'm going to look here real quickly. Praise be to God. Because it talks about, amen, speaking words. Speaking words. Amen. And you know when, amen, time was time. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. All right, Lord, I thank you. Let's go back here and just bow with you. Yes. A moment. I'll oh, hear you, Lord. Okay. Praise God. We give God all the glory and all the honor. Blind body. Amen. You know that story. I'm sure, sitting on the Jericho Road, Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem. And I believe the scripture said it was about five days before it was crucifixion, before Jesus was crucified. And he's waiting. He's on the Jericho Road. He's waiting. And he hears, hey, Matthews, Matthews, he hears, hey, man, all of this commotion. And no doubt about it, he found out that Jesus of Nazareth was coming in that direction. And I'm sure, yes, Lord, he had, amen, a report, amen, of just who Jesus was. Uh-huh. And the Bible said, okay, I just I just should have hold those. Tell me exactly where it was, y'all. You know, God is so good. I mean, I'm coming all over here because there's so many things I want to say to you. Let me go here. Matthew, ninth chapter. And, uh, amen. Uh, verse 27. Uh-huh. Matthew's 9, 27. Are you there? And when Jesus departed, thence two blind men followed him, crying and singing, The Son of David, have mercy on us. Mm. Now, they call him the Son of David. Yes. If you do a little Bible study, you'll find out why mm -hmm. he called Jesus the Son of David. Mm -hmm. Praise be to God. Amen. Because the Jews had a belief there. Yes, they did. They, they had a belief, praise be to God, that the Mashur, mm -hmm. which is Jesus, they call him the Mashur. Yes. That's what the Jews called him. Yes. That he would come through, amen, the line of King David. Praise God. Mm -hmm. The liberal, the liberal. Yes. He said, Son of David, have mercy on me. Yes. Mm -hmm. And just like people today, Amen. They don't want you to get too radical. They, they you start looking at you, you get too radical, you know. But this man, I said, I kind of paraphrased, I said, I couldn't see. But he know he was coming by. So he said, I got to, I got to make a lot of noise, make sure he hear me. Because I don't know where he's 50 feet down the road or he's right here near me. All I hear is a commotion of the people. Praise be to God. So they told him, keep quiet. Praise God. Uh, they had a belief that anyone that was sick, huh? And people used to say that stuff. The devil put, the Lord put that on them. Because they did this or because they did it. Y'all know, you, you know, you out there, you know, you know that this is a fact. They said, well, the Lord put it on them because they did it. No, mm -mm. no, no, that ain't true. No. Mm -mm, he don't put he don't put no sickness on you. Nope. He takes sickness off for of you. That's right. So don't get it confused now. 
But they believe that because of some sin that he was born blind. Because one over that would even ask them, they asked the family, if I recall correctly, who did sin that his disciples asked Jesus, who did yes. sin? Yes. That this man, yeah, another this another blind man there mm -hmm. was born blind. Yes, right. So they actually believed that. Mm -hmm. Somebody did something. Now, let me help you a little bit. Mm. I know it says as a man so, so shall he reap. Yes. And you can do stuff mm -hmm. yourself. Yes, right. Amen. Uh, the enemy will allow you to do things, but he never going to tell you how much it's going to cost you. Huh? He don't yes, tell you right. what the consequence is going to be yes. when it's over. Mm -hmm. But he'll he's trying to lead you into it. Yes. So, the parents told, this is, uh, oh, excuse me, Jesus said to the disciples, he said, listen, he said, this man didn't sin that he was born blind, neither did his parents. Mm -hmm. But the glory of God. Yes. Maybe he made manifest in his life. That's right. It was a reason. Just like that who that doctor, that, that brother that portrayed Jesus, said it would have been best that he hadn't been born. The son of tradition. Mm -hmm. Praise Judith that portrayed him. Yes, right. Praise be to God. Uh huh. So let me get back to Brian Bonnet. So Brian Bonnet was crying, uh, the son of David. Good God Almighty. Yes. Have mercy on me. Yes. Hey, in the house. He's full of mercy. Great. See, you see, you got to learn to come to him, so come. That's, that's, like, that's, that's, that's what we all got to learn. Praise. Humble yourself. Yes. Yes. God Almighty. Yes. Ah, God. Humble yourself yes. under the hand of the Almighty God. Acknowledge He is God. Yes. Good God Almighty. Everything moves by His power. Hello, we here. So, blind body, this is calling, and they said, Be quiet, be quiet. They felt that he, amen, didn't deserve what he was seeking or whatever it may be. But anyway, the scripture said, he cried the more. Huh? He said, you can tell me not to sin, but I'm going to call him more. Anyway, long story short, praise be to God. He got Jesus' attention. Yes. And he stopped him. I'm here to tell you, if you call him, pastor, you to tell me he'll have some. Good God Almighty. I'm here to tell you, if you call Yes. Like you mean it. Yeah. Good God Almighty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just can't say Jesus. But if you're calling yeah, yeah, yeah. in yeah. desperation, Lord, I need you right now. Good God Almighty. He said, he said I'm a brother to help spell Lord in a time of need. Yeah. Mean he's already there. He's already there. If he's present, he's already there. He said, I'm a brother to help in time of yeah. trouble. Good God Almighty. You, Praise be to God. One daughter asked me, amen, says, how do you know Jesus ain't already come? I says, because I'm still here. Yes. Praise be to God. Yes. Praise be to God. Amen. amen. Hallelujah. Because when yes. he comes, yes. he his very own. Praise be to God. I'm out of here. Yes. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he kept on calling. And Jesus asked him. Yes. To bring him here. Good God Almighty. And he got up and went to Jesus. He wanted something from him. He said, What do you want that I may receive my sight? Yes. See, that's why you need the Holy Ghost. Because yes. it's going to give you some eyesight. Yes, it is. And you're going to be able to see through some stuff, you're going to be able to see through some people. Hello, and yeah, praise be to God. That say they are, and you can see they are not. Thank you. Praise be to God. And if you don't see it, you'll be able to even feel them. Yes. Hello, in here. Because you, you can feel the Holy Ghost. Hey, Shayanaha. Especially if it's somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, but we are so blessed because in the Old Testament, it moved on them, Sister Crump. Yeah. Uh, my God. And as Amen. The Spirit of God moved on them. They said, man, pen the Bible. Good God Almighty. See, because in the beginning was God. Yes. Hello in here. Yes. Uh, so there was nobody else but God. Yes. So how can you write about a beginning when you were not there? Yes. But as the Spirit of God Thank you. spoke, yes. man wrote, good God Almighty. And what he wrote is what he heard. And he wrote it, 
Praise be to God. Thank to be read so you can hear it again. Yes. Praise my church. Yes. Good God Almighty. Praise be to God. So by and by, this amen made it known. You want this sight. I want you to learn a thing. Praise be to God. Jesus. Jesus kept saying, it is not I that doeth the work, but, the Father. but the Father yes. that liveth in me. Thank you, Lord. I got a mighty. See, you got to have him living in you. Yes, right. Uh-huh. And that is the spirit yes. of the almighty God. Yes. Because God is a spirit. Yes, he is. How y'all see? How y'all see? Thank you, Jesus. And that's why Jesus went away, that he could send the true spirit back to us. Thank you, The spirit of God. Yes. Praise be to God. And it says, if the spirit of God. Well, in you, then you belong to yes, him. Yes. Oh, you see the Messiah. Yes. yes, I see, I see, I see. Mm. And if you have not the spirit of him, yes. you are none of his. Yes. You don't yes. belong to him. Yes. You're yes. children of the devil. Yes. Come on in here. You, Praise be to the Thank Lord. You, Lord. Amen. But aren't you glad, aren't you glad that you called on him with all yes. your heart? Yes. That you denied your flesh. Thank you, you denied yourself. He said, I want Jesus. Praise be to Thank God. Yes. You got hungry for him. You got so hungry, it didn't really matter whether you ate or not. Yes. Praise yes. be to God. Thank you. Because you wanted Jesus yes. to come in your life. And the word of God says, he that hungers and thirsts for righteousness shall be filled. Yes. You got to get hungry. Yes. You're not hungry enough. Praise yes. be to God. But if you look Amen. And some of those people in other countries don't have no food to eat. No, they don't. Good God of mine. No, they had don't. a decent meal. No, they don't. Oh, uh, God. I was watching one clip. Amen. There, they were showing the mother was making pancakes for her children. Yes. She didn't have no pancake mix. She was taking mud. Her shop yes. out of her house. Yes. Cooking it for her children. Yes. Hey, in here. They're going to get some water to drink. Yes. Hard oh, dog. Where the cattle and every kind of animal drop their waste in the water. Thank you, and they're Jesus. drinking, I mean, water that give them type of fever. Yes. You're dying. I heard Jesus say, I was thirsty. Yes. And you gave me not to yes. drink. My God, my God, my God, my God. I'm here to tell you, church. Uh, God gonna hold somebody accountable. Yes. Hello in here. Because we're throwing out food yes. and people are starving. That's Hello right. in here. Praise me. Right. I was hungry yes. and you fed me yes. not. Good yes. God Almighty. Why were you hungry, Lord? Yes. And we didn't feed you. Why were you thirsty? We didn't give you the drink. When you done it to one of these little least ones. Yes. Because all souls are mine. Yes, says the Lord. Yes. When you done to one of the least ones. You've done it unto me. Yes. Praise be to Thank God. You, Jesus. Praise be to God. By and by, they got in sight. Praise God. Praise God. Let's go, amen. Thank you, Lord. A little further here mm. to those two men yes. who followed Jesus yes. into the house. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. They were blind. They were blind. Yes. And when they went in, they followed him in the house. Now, this old phone trying to all right. There we go. You follow Jesus into the house. Praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus. Let's see if that's here. Ah, ha, 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 ha. And when he was coming to the house, yeah, yeah. Drop down there, Sister Carla, for me uh, to the 28th verse, yeah. And when he was come into the house, the blind men came to the him. Two, the two, two blind men here now. We ain't talking about blindness now. They came in too. Listen, listen. Mm -hmm. Jesus said unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this. Stop right there. You see, you think there's something you got to do. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. You got it all wrong. I believe. Your part yes. is to believe yes. that he can do it. Yes. That's your part. Thank you, Jesus. Now, if you believe that he can do it, then you got faith. Yes. Enough to get it done for you. Thank you, Jesus. Because your faith is saying to you, I believe God can do it. 
Uh huh. So you believe you can receive. So when I pray, I believe that God can do it. So I don't have to do nothing now, but stay in faith. Stay in my belief. As we said earlier, Abraham staggered not at the promises of God. That's right. And God counted, he was, it was counted as righteousness because he believed. Now you have trouble in believing when you're not doing what he asked you to do. Mm-hmm. You open the door for doubt. Yes. Doubt lives next door to faith. Yes, it does. Can I talk to you a little bit? Uh huh. Huh? Yes. So you, as I said earlier, you got to kill your doubt. Excuse me. You got to feed your faith yes. and starve your doubt. That's it. Hello in here. Amen. Because he's not giving us a spirit of fear. Of doubt. So you got the Holy Ghost, the Holy. You don't have no spirit of doubt. That's right. But why that doubt, Pastor? Because that fella sitting on your shoulder ain't your friend. No, he ain't. And he's up there trying to tell you that you ain't believing. You need to say, get off my shoulder. Amen. Get out of my ear. That's right. Make your confession every morning. I will hear one voice today. And that is the voice of God. Somebody yes. miss me. Somebody miss me. Yes. Somebody miss me. Somebody yes. miss me. I will hear one voice today. And, and that is the voice of God. Because there are many sounds out there. There are many voices out there. Yes. And the Bible called them many spirits. Yes. And they are constantly chatting and talking. But you got to get up in the morning. Calm enough. Yes. And get on your kneecaps. Hello yes. in here. How y'all see them? And say, Lord, today I hear one voice. That'll be your voice. Thank you, Jesus. And will I hear. Praise be to God. Make a decree. Yes. Blessed shall I be when I come in. And blessed shall I be when I'm going out. But I'm going to be blessed. Praise be to God. Praise be to God. I'm the pray. I, amen. Most, a lot of people know what I do. I pray. I pray. Amen. I pray that when I go out to do what I do, that every one of those children, I will deliver them to that school safely. And return them back home to their parents in the same like manner that I picked them up. Huh? So you want to call me the praying bus driver? That's all right. Come on, I'll always pray. Good God Almighty. And not faint. You better learn to pray. Especially out there driving on them roads. Because you got some folk out there, praise be to God. You got some demons driving. Yes, you Hello, do. I heard one preacher say he, the demons stole his car. And he come out of church and he looked at they were, they're in church casting out devils and the demons only stole his car. He said, I didn't know the demons could drive. Uh, <laughs> oh, gosh. Whether they got license or not, demons can drive. They'll oh, steal your car in a minute. Oh, Jesus. Hello, and yeah, you don't need, you need the key in, there, in the motor running. You'll find oh, out. Gosh. Praise be to God. They can't drive. Hello, and yeah. <laughs> Glory to God. So the true blind man, read that on. Oh, let's, yeah. let's close this up. Uh-huh. They said unto him, Yeah, Lord. Go back, go back to let's, let's see what the Jesus said, first of all. Because he asked them a question. Mm-hmm. He said, Jesus you, said unto them, Jesus is talking now. Believe ye that I am able to do this. Mm-hmm. They said unto him, Yeah, Lord. Then Touch he their eyes. Now he touched their eyes. Understand it. Uh-huh. Say according to your faith, be it unto you. Mm-hmm. And their eyes were opened. Yes. And Jesus straightly charged them, saying, tell, tell See that no man know it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Be they when they were departed. All right, that's fine. That's fine. I'm going to go to something real quick. Then we're going to be finished. I want to go over to. Amen, Jarvis' daughter. Because something happened. I'm going to share it with you. Mm-hmm. Jarvis' daughter. I'm going to try to get to it real quickly. Just give me a minute. Just give me a minute. I, I've tried to send it to some people. Amen. That one that's the, oh, Come on. That one work for me. Praise God. Now, yeah. <clears throat>
Just bear with me. One more. All right. Go over to mm -hmm. uh, Jesus raising Jairus' door from the dead. Praise be to God. Amen. Now, Jairus, he, he went to Jesus and told him, you know, about his daughter, so far and so on. That's Mark 5, so Sister Carl. Okay. Don't talk about Mark 5. Amen. And look there, you're going to see it on there. But the Father came to Jesus, and uh, uh. praise be to God. You, you there? I'm there. All right. Now, I want you to go right to the verse where Jesus went into the house. Mm hmm Verse 24. All right. And Jesus went with him, and much people followed him. Now, wait, now, wait. Let me explain that to you why she said Jesus went with him, because Jesus told me, take, uh -uh. take me to your house. <laughs> How many know he'll come to your house? I'm the only one know he'll come. He'll come to your house. Yes, he will. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me rephrase it. How many know he going home with you when you go home? Because he and me. Now, let me help. You. Let me help you. Hold, hold, hold your point there, sister. When he went to Lazarus' grave, he prayed this prayer. Father, I know, I know you, I know you hear, hear me, me. Mm -hmm. and you always hear me. hear me. That's right. He said, "Well, these that stand here, that they may believe that you sent me, but I'm not going to go to that part." He said, "I know you hear me, and you always hear me." Can you say that, sister, sitting over here? She's going. Can you say you know he hear you, and he always hear you? Huh? Yeah. Okay, can you, can you say that, Sister Clark? Yeah. All right, now if I ask you how can you say that, can you tell me how you know you can say that? Do you know how you know you can say that, daughter, sitting over here? Uh -huh, I hear you. Hold your peace. Do you know why you can say that? I, I know he hear me, and he always hear me. What about you? What about you? You know why he always hear you? Yeah. Tell, tell him, Sister. Because he's in you. That's right. How can he? How can he not hear you if he's living in you? That's right. So you can you can fast forward out whether he hear you or not. That's right. Cause you know he's living in you. Yes. So you know he hears you. Jesus said, "I'm in the Father, and the Father in me. That's I know right. you always hear me, huh? So your lifestyle, you you the way you the righteous of God. Amen. You, his righteousness in you. He's living in you. He hears you." That's why he said, my ears are open to the cry of the rock. I hear you. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. And if he hear you, you think he can sit there and do nothing about the situation that That's you're right. talking to him about? Amen. No way! Yes. Jesus. yes. He's going to move. No. He will be He said, wait. Well, 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 the word of God said, what good father would chastise his son? That's right. What good mother or father hear their boy or daughter crying? You know, the baby, wait a minute, my, my baby's crying. Go see about it. That's right. Huh? Who, who, who? You go see about it. Yes, I will. Well, we're his little children. Yes, we are. I see. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you. Glory to God. And when we cry, oh, God Almighty, he, he'll put an angel on the run. Good God yes. Almighty. Oh, in here. Yes. Praise be to the truth. Thank God. You, so, so many. Says this. This is a man been dead for four days. His body should be Thank decomposed, yes. mm -hmm. smelling by now. That's right. Mm hmm. Cause bro, that, that, that whatever you call them, them set in. Yes. Huh? Mm -hmm. But what did he do? He called. He called. Yes, he did. <laughs> yeah. Come on. I went to the scripture. It said, praise God, this ain't for them, this is for